Hey, I have just found a way to implement Photoshop generative fill into CAPTCHA workflow. Using this trick, you can mask an area in CAPTCHA, click a shortcut, and in several seconds, you will get the AI retouched image right in CAPTCHA. How? In this video, you will find a complete step by step guide on implementing generative fill in CAPTCHA 1. But first, I have some awesome news for you. Ultimate CAPTCHA 1 Toolkit is now 50% off and you can get a whole bunch of pro tools for CAPTCHA 1 for half of the price. The toolkit contains 40 ready looks to find the best adjustments for your images quickly color shift styles and visual accent styles to have full control over your color, 20 curve adjustments and 60 style brushes to easily apply complex adjustments. Also, you will get unique dynamic symmetry grids, social media expert recipes, professional workspaces and more tools designed to make your caption workflow faster and easier than ever. Go to alexonraw.com slash toolkit and try them free of charge. Now back to implementing generative fill in CAPTCHA 1. The whole process looks like this. We're masking an area in CAPTCHA 1 and sending an image to Photoshop using Edit with Shortcut. In Photoshop, we have an active event that applies pre-made action with generative fill to newly opened images. Finally, Photoshop auto-saves the image and it appears in CAPTCHA 1. Now, let's see how to make this process fully automated. First, we need to find a way to mask an area in CAPTCHA 1 for further AI retouching in Photoshop. I have tested several methods and the best one is to make the required area pure white. You can easily achieve this by setting the white point in the Levels tool to zero. Also make sure that your brush hardness value is set to 100. To quickly draw with these settings, you can create a style brush. Next, we need to send our image to Photoshop and starting from CAPTCHA 23 16.2, you can set a custom shortcut for any edit with actions. Thus, you can now send images to Photoshop with just a couple of clicks. In Photoshop, we need to record an action that will select the required areas and apply generative fill to them. If you are not familiar with Photoshop actions, feel free to download my action and the masking style brush at alexonraw.com slash action. You will also get 50 styles for CAPTCHA 1 free of charge. There are several ways to select white areas in Photoshop. I will use the color range feature with white color as a sample and zero fuzziness. Next, it makes sense to feather the selection a bit and expand it. Now we can apply generative fill without a prompt. Finally, we're going to flatten the image, save and close it. There is only one thing missing for complete automatization. We need to set up Photoshop to run this action automatically when it opens a new document. Go to File, Scripts, Script, Events Manager. Here we need to enable events to run scripts. Set Photoshop event to open document and the action to our generative fill action. Click Add and Done. Ok, let's test it on some images. First, how about removing the person from this shot? This is something that is impossible to achieve with heel or clone brushes. 
but the new workflow handles such tasks easily. Or what if we don't need all these boats in this image? We can now quickly remove them. This is just one example of how AI and automatization can improve your image editing workflow. If you want to learn about the best AI-powered tools for photographers, check out my new video course at alexonrocom course. You can start watching it free of charge to see all the AI tools I use in my work.